Bless it, bless it, bless all our tires. Look, it's a surprise, surprise, don't deny us. My heart is broken because I can't believe after everything we've been through, he has the guts to do this to me. Should I stay? Should I move on? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another life-changing, life-altering installment of Tea Time with Aik. We don't always drink tea, but honey, we do spill the tea and apparently we're spilling it with over a thousand people on the channel. Guys, we did it, yo. We did it. <sighs> I don't even know what to say other than a big thank you to everyone who has supported this channel from day one like when i started the channel i did not take it seriously because i didn't consider the possibilities a thousand people now a thousand people are subscribed to me so a thousand people need to watch this video how about they <laughs> on a serious note though guys thank you so 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 much I'm famous. I'm finally famous. No, I'm joking. But thank you guys so much for all of the support. Thank you is really an understatement. Um, it's really you guys' kind words, your support, your views, your likes, your feedback that really kept me going. By the grace of God, we're at a thousand. We're on our way to a hundred thousand in Jesus' name, right? Right. Let's do it. Let's get into today's conversation. Today is another Ask Ayek. This one is coming from Instagram. And, um... I really want us to unpack this because unfortunately this happens more than I would like to admit. Um, so this wonderful lady who hit me up, who sent me this DM, she wants feedback from all of us. So I'm just going to read you the scenario and then we're going to get into what I think, what we think. Hello, Ayek. How are you? Happy new month. There's something I want to get off my chest. Please help me. I've been dating blank, my boyfriend for seven years. We met when I was still in uni and he was hustling. Back then we would share what we had. The money my parents sent me for upkeep, I would give to him and managed how I could. He was always trying to invest or do one business or another. So I thought to show my support because I saw a future with him. Last year, his cousin helped him get a really good job and he mentioned that they may relocate him to another state. The plan was that when he starts making money, we will plan our wedding and get married. He has packed into a new place, bought a car, and even bought his mom a car, but no talk of marriage. I always stop by his house when I'm in the area, and he doesn't have a problem with it until recently. I stopped by his house, and he didn't let me in. He started raking and said, you can't just show up to a person's house unannounced. Ayek, I'm sure he's with someone else. My heart is broken because I can't believe after everything we've been through, he has the guts to do this to me. Should I stay? Should I move on? This man was my first love, my first everything. What am I supposed to do? Any help I will appreciate and you can share on your YouTube, please. Thank you. <sighs> triggered, right? This is triggering? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, I just want to commend you and applaud you for reaching out. Your feelings are 100% valid because there's actually a lot going on. I mean, you guys have a lot of history together. Seven years is not beans. And seven years of essentially sowing seeds, it's, you know, that's, that's the energy I'm getting. You've been sowing seeds because you thought you had a future with this guy. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Um... First and foremost, let's just address the elephant in the room. If he's switching up on you, it's because he switched up on you. Unfortunately, like nine times out of 10, it's because he has someone else. And I'm really, 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 <clears throat> really sorry. I understand the pain that you're going through. So um, should you stay or should you move on? That's a tough one because I can't fight men. In case your man your your man wants to fight me. No, on a serious note though, um, you have to weigh the options. You have to take a lot of things into consideration. Are you interested in being second best? Because with this whole revelation, you're also kind of realizing that you may have been with someone who's an opportunist. Because I know you said you guys were working your way through things, but then you said that you used the money that your parents gave you to invest in his businesses and things like that. And then he bought his mom a car. So I just feel like you have to take those things into consideration. Are you interested in being second best? 
if he was really doing for you how he was uh, uh, you you really have to think about that um in 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 calm terms or in egg terms yes i do believe that you should move on but i know that it's complicated it's complex because you've had a lot of firsts with him he's your first love you said he's your first everything but just because someone is your first does not necessarily mean they have to be your last and they don't have to be your only especially when you're not being treated the way you deserve to be treated a lot of times because we have history with people because we've done this and that with this person or we feel like we've put so much especially women it's hard for us to say oh you know what i'm I'm gonna you know pack my slippers grab my shoes dust off the the um sand and move on it is really really hard but then you have to go back to again what do you deserve because this is really an ego versus what i deserve kind of thing right your ego is telling you hey how can some woman and possibly have potentially some women be enjoying what i work so hard for which is another negative advice that a lot of women especially in nigeria get and not just nigeria a lot of african cultures get don't let anybody reap where they didn't so you need to stay with him blah 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 but he's disrespecting you he didn't even let you into his house so babe think this one through is it about the years that you've sown or is it about the potential is it about the future if he's doing this now unfortunately it's probably going to get worse. And again, a lot of times you don't see people's true colors until they reach a certain pinnacle of success. He had this in him all along. So I'm just throwing ideas out there for you. I'm just in with you. I'm talking to you as, as a friend, you know, so that you take all of these things into consideration before you think about whether you should stay or whether you should move on. Like I was saying before, just because they're your first does not mean that they have to be your only. Your only really needs to be that person who is giving you the love that you deserve, honored you from beginning to end. It's just the truth. It's a hard one because you're like, okay, who has time for all of that? Where do I start from? Where will I find the person? I mean, you want to build a future with this kind of person who's kind of wishy-washy. When kids come into the mix, when years get under the belt, How's that gonna go? And you've done so much for this guy. Are you really ready to be chasing him? Because it seems like you're gonna have to be chasing him and you might have to fight a few people, potentially. Are you ready for that? Um, take things like family into consideration as well. I mean, I don't know the details, but like mom C, mom C gets a car. What did you get? I'm not saying that he owes you anything, but like if you've invested in his business, invested in him, there gotta be a little something coming back to it. So what did you get? I love people, you know, taking care of their parents, taking care of their family, I respect it, but like, did you get a car? And even that, it doesn't, I, I even get the sense that you're not even interested in all of that. I really get the sense that you're interested in love in this situation, which I love and I respect so much, but consider those things. Consider these things, babe, before you think about whether you should stay or whether you should move on. Move on, okay? I'm telling you to move on. I'm pretty sure a lot of our friends in the comments are going to tell you to move on too. But take these things into consideration so it won't be that egg and friends told you, <laughs> I cannot fight a man. But on a serious note though, take these things into consideration. When you reason these things, reason them one by one, you yourself will be like, huh, hmm, hmm. I firmly believe that regardless of how much history you have with someone, if they're not doing right by you, they're treating you funny, they're switching up, it's, it's really no point. There's no point in trying to stick around to, to stick around to see how everything goes, to work it out. Go find what else is out there, okay? Or if you're like, well, me too. Let me weigh my options. Let me let me keep him around just in case he comes around. You too, weigh your options too. But of course, you have to do your own research, get some evidence, and you know when you know you know. You know if something's going on. Just like you said, you have a feeling that he's with someone else. Is it worth it? If you feel like it's worth it, I don't see why you would feel like it's worth it. But if you do, then yeah, babe, go. Run. Because when it starts like this big, it's only going to get worse. I'm sorry. Don't ask me how I know. Just know that it's not going to get much better. Just know that. 
okay it's gonna get better for you but between you and him it's most likely not gonna get much better this is how um people are and unfortunately this is an opportunist that you came across um i'm just sorry that it took so much out of you and i do believe that you are gonna find the right person for you you are a very sweet woman a wonderful woman and you deserve the best but it's time for you to believe that you deserve the best and step out and move like someone who believes it too and even if you do decide to stay when you kind of start coming more into yourself and understanding that no I deserve to be treated like number one. I deserve to be appreciated. I deserve to not have someone moving funny and making plans with me about marriage. And then suddenly the story changes without communication. You'll start realizing it and then you yourself, you won't have to, you won't have to ask Ayak and friends, you'll eventually leave. So I hope that helps girl. And I hope that you make the best decision for you. And yeah. Guys, as always, please weigh in in the comments. What do you think about this? It's pretty straightforward, if I'm being honest. Just, I mean, but that's just the kind of person I am. It's pretty straightforward. But if there's some things we also need to consider, let me know in the comments down below. Let my friend know. She's going to be reading. She's going to be watching. Babes, I hope this helps. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Hopefully, we're going to throw out some fashion. You know, we're going to pull out the little fashion and it might be a little collaboration. You never know. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all of the supports. I will see you next time. Bye. I just want you in my life, baby. I like you.